Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Hip.io. Today's video is gonna be how to create your own custom watch face for your Gear S3. It's a really simple process and I think anyone is able to do this. If I can do it, you can do it. So without no further ado, let's get started with the custom watch face. Okay, here we are at the Samsung Developers Gear Watch Designer page. And right from the get-go, you can see that the URL is pretty long. So I'm just gonna drop, that, drop it down in the description below so you guys could just click on it and take it right to this page. Here you'll see that there's only two flavors available to install, a Mac version and a Windows version. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna be using the Windows version. On the left here, there'll be other brief tutorials. So if you go over here, it'll give you a breakdown of all the features, the information, and what the, the things you can do with it. And then you, you just step through here. But I'm pretty lazy. I don't like to read through anything. I just like to get into stuff and start messing around until I get it. So we'll just go back here, back to the GearWatch Designer, and we're gonna choose the beta download for Windows. Obviously, if you're on a Mac, choose a Mac. And once you finish downloading and um, extracting the file or just running the exe setup file from the zip file um, you'll just have to click next all the way through I'm not going to show you that um, as it's pretty self-explanatory just hit next all the way through okay by now um, the gear watch designer should be installed and you should see an icon in your desktop so we're going to go right to it and we're just going to double click on it and here you can see it's showing the watch face that I created in a previous project uh, once we get into it, we're going to go and we're going to create a fresh new template so you guys can see from scratch how it's done. So we'll go here to new and then we're going to choose the Gear S2, Gear S3 um, watch layout here. And this is the resolution that is on the watch. So 360 by 360. We'll give it a project name. So we'll call it hip and then we'll press OK. And here is your basic layout. Uh, and you'll notice this looks very familiar to um, Photoshop if you already have experience in Photoshop. Um, it's very similar. Here's your justifications so you can align the image to the top. Uh, here you can center um, the, the, you could center it right in the middle so it's perfectly even. Uh, there's a bunch of other options here. Uh, bring to front, send to back. Um, I didn't have to dabble into that. I didn't have to really worry about it. It was really easy for me. I created my, my background in Photoshop and then I just imported it. So now I'm gonna create a basic watch um, template like the one I've created for myself that you saw in the opening video. So let's click on background here. And then here's a variety of different colors you can choose. I wanted to have my custom watch face so I went straight up here and I chose import image. And here I have the image that's currently on my watch. I'll just open this up. And as you can see, it's really large. Um, the type of file I was using was a very high res. So in order to get it to fit onto this watch, what I do is to um, scale it down. And I, I wanna scale it down proportionally so it's not um, too tall or too wide. I want everything to constrain the proportions. And in order to, you have to hold down shift on your keyboard and then you just drag, and that will cause it to shift everything proportionally. So this is how I currently have it on my watch. Uh, the next thing I'll show you is here. If you go to index, this would be if you're using like an old school analog watch, uh, like with the one, two, three, four along the sides around the edges, you would click on here and they have a bunch of different options here. I like the digital clocks. It's easier for me to tell time. <laughs> uh, here's the, the watch hands. Um, you can input that. I'll, I'll throw it on just so you guys can see. So let me cho choose this one. And you can see that I just put an overlay on there. Uh, watch hands, once again, this would go along with your index. You put this in there. For my watch, I chose digital clock and you'll see how it threw here right away um, the, the digital time. And that line in the center that you saw going around, that means it's evenly on the watch face. 
If you want to change up this text um, formatting here to a different font, there's, there's a couple of other fonts you can use. And if you go down here to where it says appearance, you'll see it says true type font. If you just hit this, if you just click here, sync to device, you'll see a bunch of other fonts here. So let's choose gear choco cookie. And you'll see how it changed the font up here. Um, I'm going to go with something a bit cleaner, um, gear applet. I'll put to that. And right now you'll notice that this is military time. I don't like seeing military time. I'm in North America, so I'm used to having the AM at the end and not having to tell the military time. So if you want to change that up there, you would then go to the ICU format here and you just click on it and you would change it to HMMA. And now you'll see it says 12 AM. Here you could throw a bunch of different images if you wanted to. Uh, you can import your own or choose from their current library. I'm just gonna leave it because I did everything with my watch background so I don't need to add anything extra. But if you want, you could do this as well if you want to put a couple of layers on there. Okay. So here you could throw some text in if you wanted to. Um, so we could choose like battery, click it there and there's the battery text. And you have a bunch of other options there. Floor uh, is only available for de devices Gear S3. So you could put that there. Um, I don't have any use for that. So I like having images. I'm a visual person. So I'll remove that there. Animations. You could go here and you could create your own animations um, in third parties and just dump it in here. I don't have any that I can show you, unfortunately. Okay, so under complications, you'll have your time. And this will be like cool little widgets. Um, if you want to throw in like the second hand analog widget. Um, they also have the days of the week. Uh, the one that I did throw in and you will you saw it on my, my watch face. One of the ones I like a lot is knowing the battery right off the bat. And here you can have the analog version or the digital. I personally like the digital. So I'll just click on it to add it to this watch here. And then you just put it wherever you want and then you could resize it. Oh, and I wasn't holding shift. So now you can see it's not very proportionate. So I'm just gonna control Z to reverse this. And then I'm just gonna hold shift so I could do it proportionally here. And then we'll just put it wherever we like. Okay, so then after we have the workout. So I like to know my steps at all times. Uh, I like to break the 10,000 barrier. I'll click on that there. And then I'll just throw that here in the center. I like that a bit bigger. And then you could choose one of these other options. There's also um, your speed. Uh, there's the heart rate. So if you want to throw in your heart rate in here, you could just throw in your heart rate. I'll just throw that one in. And if you notice, it, it tells you when it's lining up with everything. So here it is. You'll see the, the pink line going across saying, hey, it's centered with the other ones. Um, it's, it's very easy. There's nothing to this. And that is essentially it for creating a watch face. A nice simple watch face like mine. You can obviously go into way more detail, um, but I like the simple look. I just like having a couple things on my screen that I find important like battery steps and heart rate and obviously the time. So the next step here is we're gonna have to enable debugging on our watch and we're gonna have to then authorize our, our gear watch designer to actually be able to um, publish this to our watches. Uh, you may have noticed when you first installed the program and you went in for the first time, it said you wouldn't be able to do anything without authorizing. Uh, in order to authorize, you're just gonna go here to project and you're gonna do author certificate. Okay, so here, since you um, probably haven't generated a certificate yet, you're gonna actually leave it here on generate a new certificate signing request. Now just press next. So on this screen here, you'd fill in all the um, pertinent information. So you could do like, um, I'll just write in test, passwords, test, password, again, this test, and then you would hit next. And this here, you would have to log into your Samsung account. So whatever your Samsung account is, 
you would just type it in here and then it would generate the certificate for you. You'd hit sign in and then next and then your certificate would be created and it would be saved locally to your computer. So that's it for the first portion, which is the author certificate. The next portion you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go onto your watch and you're going to have to click on the home button. And then you'll go into settings and then you'll go down to where it says gear info. Once you click on gear info, you'll go down to where it says debugging and then you just hit the check mark and then debugging mode is on. The next thing you'll need to do now is you will also need to turn off Bluetooth on your, on your watch. You'll need to connect to the same network that you're currently running the gear watch designer on. So turn off Bluetooth and the way to do that is once again, you hit the home button, you go into settings and then you go all the way down to connections. You click on Bluetooth and switch it off. And then you go into your Wi-Fi and just make sure it's connected. Once it's connected back in the application, we're going to go over here to where it says run on device. And then you'll see here it's scanning and it should find it. Just make sure your watch doesn't actually go into sleep mode. So make sure the, the face is lit, lit up. So as you can see, it found mine right here. Uh, here's the IP. And then over here, we got the message saying, uh, connecting gear device with a gear watch designer may cause battery drain. So we just hit okay on this message here. And once you um, have this in here, we then go to project and distribute certificate. And here, since it has found the device, it, it inputs the device ID in here. And then you just sign into the same Samsung account that you, that you used earlier with your author certificate. And then you just hit sign in. Once you do that, this portion once again is done. Okay, so now the last step to get getting this watch face onto your watch is you'll need to go down to project and then choose build. It's gonna give you this warning about the always on watch face. I just say yes to it. And then I say yes again. And then yes again. And as you can see, it changed it into a um, always on friendly, so it doesn't use too much battery. So now that that's completed, you'll go over here to run on device. You'll click on your device again. It's going to ask if you want to save your project, say yes. You could just say yes to this message as well. It's saying the TPK doesn't exist. Do you want to build it? You say yes again. And here it is. It's just rendering all the information for you. And here you'll give it a name. And this here would be the password that you use when creating the certificate. So ours was test. And then after you give it a label, if you like, and then you just hit build. And then you would see it going through the process and it would appear on your watch. And just note, once it uploads to your watch, you will actually need to then select the watch face on the watch. And I'll show you how to do that quickly. So to switch it out, all you have to do is hold your finger on the watch face and then you'll scroll to the left and then you'll see your watch face right in there. Okay, so that's it for creating your own custom watch face. Go out, download the software, try creating your own, even if it's something basic, just doing something basic and knowing that you're the one that created it will give you such a satisfaction. So I said, just, I just say, go out, do it. Once you do it, just, even if it's just basic text that you're doing, just try it out and then show it to all your friends and I'm sure they'll be amazed that you can do it. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked the video, be sure to press the like button. If you think someone else would like to watch this video, share it out. If you like my videos, please subscribe, hit the notification symbol so you know that once my videos come out, you'll be alerted right away. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.